Hey, what is going on YouTube? My name is Oliver here and welcome back to my channel and I got some great news guys like really top shelf great A1 news. So before we kick it in, uh, how you guys doing man? How you guys been? It's been a minute, it's been a couple of days. I know I usually don't double upload but in this type of occasion I feel fantastic. I feel special and I feel like you guys should understand why. So if you guys don't know in the past couple of videos I always talked about me getting a new job me working at Fred Myers, me working somewhere else besides Taco Bell because it's not everybody's dream to work, to be 22 years old and work at a fast food restaurant. I mean, it's ideal, you know, for a career if you're into that stuff because I know how much they make and it's, it's a lot. It's good, but you know, you, I don't want that stress. So, um, and this year has been a crappy year, man. You know, this year has been a real shitty year for me. I lost my job at Walmart and then I lost one of my closest friends. And on top of that, I got my heart broken. So you can understand why I was having a shitty year. But everything everything changed when the Fire Nation invaded. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> um, everything changed when I decided to let the girl go. So probably like a whole year after me and this girl met at Walmart. You know, I've been feeling heartbroken. I've been getting all depressed and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I need to switch in my life. I need to let this girl go. And I did. I mean, we're still friends, you know, we're, we still say hi, hi and bye once in a while, but it's nothing serious no more. I can't show her that love and affection like I did before because it's going to hurt me. So I did the biggest step that I could in my life, but I let her go. And I felt great. And I felt great. So after that, I was like, you know what? I should apply at a job because I'm feeling so good right now. Anything can happen. I can, I can get turned down and I'll still be happy. So I applied to a holiday. If you guys don't know what holiday is, holiday is kind of like a convenience store like 7-Eleven, Tesoro, you know, just to name a few because I don't really know that much outside of Alaska. But she, uh, a couple days after, they called me on Monday and I was, I was at work this day and I was taking an order and I was like, hello? She was like, yeah, this is a holiday. I was like, oh my God. I was like, yo, Nathaniel, take this order. This is a family emergency. He was like, oh snap. Okay, go ahead, Oliver. So I ran outside. Pick up the phone. I was like, hey. She's like, yeah, you got to interview this Thursday. I'm like, this Thursday? I'm like, dude, that's like four days away. She's like, yeah, this Thursday at 2 o'clock. So I'm like, bet. So I go after I hang up, I go inside, look at my schedule, and I was like, Albert, 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 Albert. And it said I had the next four days off. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, that's three days. Oh, my bad, guys. So I had those three days off. And uh, today is currently Friday, so... So, my interview was was uh, yesterday. So, I was kind of pumped because I was like, you know what? I deserve these four days off, man. I deserve it because I've been working, you know, non-stop 10-hour shifts. You know, I deserve this. So, I wasn't even mad. I didn't care. So, when I got... So, like, four days later, I got to the interview. And I was pretty hyped, man. I was pretty hyped. I was pretty excited. I got my polo on. I got my, I got my dickies on, man. You know, I'm looking fresh as hell. I didn't get a lineup, but I did shave, though. So... I did the interview, the lady was hella funny, she was asking me about my life, she was asking me about like how, how can I manage this, how can I manage that, just as a co-worker, and then she was telling me like, she was asking me questions about my, uh, me attending college, what degree I'm trying to get, and she was pretty amazed and I was pretty happy, and also this lady was also from California, so I was like, do that, just girl, this lady's gonna love me, so, after the interview, she was like, you know what? You're already hired through my eyes. All we got to do is wait for the criminal background check, and we're fine. I was like, really? She's like, yeah. I was like, dude, you have nothing to worry about then. So, after that, I told my roommates, hey, I got I got the job, hopefully. My roommates are pretty hyped about it because I do get paid weekly, and I do get paid more. And that's one thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I wanted to let you guys know ahead of time that... If I do get the job, if I 100%, right now I got like 90% of the job, I just gotta wait for the criminal background check. But if I do get the job, this is gonna open up so much windows for both of us because I get more money, I get more income. That's good for my roommates and that's also good for me. I can start buying equipment, I can start buying a laptop, you know, HDPVR and Elgato. Stuff that can help me improve my gaming channel. And I say that because I use my P, I currently use my PS4. To record all my videos so you can understand why my limitations are very limited so once you know I can get better equipment for you guys I don't know how I missed all that I don't know I, I question myself a lot <laughs> but 
you know, I I want I want this to improve. I want you guys to you know to see me at my fullest potential. I want to go Super Saiyan 2 when I'm fighting Cell. That's what I want, man. <laughs> on a, on the second note, um, besides all that good stuff, man, E3 just came out about a couple of days ago. Seen a lot of great games and a lot of great games that I want to show you guys. So one of the, one of the first few games, that, of course, that I'm gonna get is Call of Duty World War Two. I'm I already pre-ordered it. I'm gonna get the I'm going to get the Season Pass Edition because, you know, I always get the Season Pass. The tradition. Another few games is God of War 5, of course. I want to fight some Nor some uh, mythology. I want to fight some gods, man. That's all I want to do. I want to fight Thor. Um, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I want to get Spider-Man games. That game looks dope as hell. Another game. Assassin's Creed. I haven't been a fan of Assassin's Creed since Assassin's Creed 1. So, it'll be a different intake. So... So yeah, man, I want to get some Dragon Ball Z Fighter. I want to get some uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity. Man, I want I want to show you this. This is going to be a great start for me, a great future, man. And also, you're going to see some more Injustice gameplay. I know this is Injustice One, and that game's out of the picture. But me and my boys, we still play it. So, and I also got some Injustice Two gameplay coming. So you guys are, you know, it's going to be a fun year. You know, I think 2017 is going to be my year. 2016 really fucked me up, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a short one, but you know, if you feel like this video was a good thing, man, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All that free stuff, all that good stuff, guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. My name is Alberto De La Hoya, aka Albert. Hope you guys are having a good one. Peace out.